Hey, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over a, a quick parameter change uh, in the charging for these Chins Lithium Iron Phosphate batteries. If you followed some of the earlier videos, you know that I uh, struggled to understand the parameters of this chemistry. But after uh, using them now for many months, I've come up with a, a, just a slight change on the charging parameters. So after using this uh, Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger uh, several times to run this bank up to a full charge, I've been monitoring it closely and it takes it up to about 14.2 and then holds it up there for about 30 minutes as it uh, decreases the current while holding it at 14.2. So that's pretty much exactly what I had except for one small detail on the MT50 here. I will show you the one change that I made. So I'm just going to the control parameters on the MT50, which is uh, connected to the EP Ever uh, 40 amp controller. And here you've got, of course, you know, the size of your battery bank. And we're going to scroll down and I'll show you the one change that I made because I was allowing this to take it up to 14.2. right there. My boost charge set at 14.2. So, but the change that I made, as I will show you, is on the boost time. I did have it set for just five minutes because I was unsure how long to hold it up there. So it wasn't giving it a very long time at 14.2 before just, uh, shutting the panels down. But I changed it now over to the 30 minute time, like you can see there, and, and make it work basically like the uh, Victron does. So instead of just uh, going for uh, five or, yeah, five minutes on the boost, I've set it on the solar panels through the charge controller to act just like that smart charger. And I've been real happy with that. I've been doing that for a few weeks now. And on the days where it gets up to that kind of a charge, I'm really happy that it, I let it sit there for a half an hour at 14.2 and then just taper down to, oh, about one or two amps coming in and it shuts the whole thing down. So uh, just a quick little update on what I found really works better. I don't think that five minutes was long enough time to get all the energy distributed between all of the cells. So that's what I'm doing now for these. And that was a real easy adjustment to make. The EP Ever and the MT50 combined uh, make it really easy to, to, you know, tweak it as you want and get it exactly what you like. And that's working very well for these. So I hope you all had a good holiday and got some new products coming down the line. Going to show you guys. Pretty excited about. So just waiting for some of those to come in. And I will keep informing you as the system changes and we make little adjustments to make it work just fine. Everything's doing great. Aloha everybody.